Is your business the target of negative or fake Yelp reviews? By the end of this video, you'll learn about what legal options and best practices are available to respond and get them removed permanently. Hi, I'm Dorian Horsey, an attorney here at Mink Law. Fake and negative Yelp reviews are a problem that no business wants to deal with. Studies show that even a single bad review can cause serious consequences for your bottom line. When bad Yelp reviews happen, it can be tough to know what to do, what not to do, and how to respond to get rid of them. In this video, I'm going to lay out what steps and legal options are available to help remove negative Yelp reviews. This includes when you should take action to get reviews removed, why it is so important to get bad reviews taken down, and what this process looks like. Online business reviews are one of the most important factors that consumers look to when determining whether to hire a business. If your business receives a negative Yelp review, it is important to act as quickly as possible to try to get it removed. Although getting some negative reviews can be part of owning a business in today's digital age, that doesn't mean that you don't have options and can't do anything about it when they happen. In fact, when a review is defamatory or when it violates Yelp's terms of service, you should always try to get it removed. A defamatory review is one that is false in nature and does not reflect a genuine marketplace interaction between a business and a consumer. If a review is defamatory, this can be a legal basis to have it removed and even sue the person who posted it for monetary damages. Negative reviews can also be removed for violating Yelp's content guidelines. This includes inappropriate content. Yelp considers threats, harassment, and hate speech to be a violation of its content guidelines. Privacy. Reviews on Yelp generally should not name or include photos of a business's employees or other customers. Personal experience. Reviews are only supposed to be written about first-hand experiences, not something that you heard from a third party. Demanding payment. Reviews on Yelp should not be used for extortion. Reviews that threaten a business as a way to extract payment are a serious violation of Yelp's content guidelines. If you are trying to remove a review for a guideline violation, it's critical to review all of Yelp's rules and to identify your best arguments. Before getting started with the removal process and potentially responding to a review, stop. Do not respond to the review on Yelp at all. This can backfire in several ways. Responding to a review may compromise your legal rights. It may potentially make it impossible to get the review removed through an abuse report, and it may draw more attention to the matter and make the situation worse if done incorrectly. We recommend the following steps. Step one, preserve the evidence. Before taking any action to remove a negative or fake Yelp review, you need to preserve evidence of the review. This can be done by taking screenshots of the review that show all pertinent details, including the username, date of the review, the URL or web address where the review was published online, and the entire substance of the review itself. Step two, review Yelp's content guidelines. Once you have preserved evidence, you can review Yelp's terms of service to see if the review violates any of their content guidelines. If the review clearly violates any of Yelp's rules, you can report the review. Step three, report or flag the review via the Yelp platform. To report and remove a negative or fake Yelp review, you will need to claim your business page at biz.yelp.com, locate the review you want removed in the review section of your Yelp business account, and then select the three dots, the more options button, and click report review. After reporting a review, Yelp will typically take anywhere from 24 hours to one week to review the request and respond. If Yelp moderators decide the review should be removed, they will remove it immediately and notify the Yelp user that their review violated their guidelines. If Yelp decides not to take action, it's possible to escalate and appeal their decision. Yelp's support team takes about the same amount of time to review and respond to these escalations. However, it can be very difficult to change Yelp's decision. And this is usually the point where we advise our clients that it's best to seek additional help and support before taking any other actions. If reporting the review for rules violations does not do the trick or Yelp is ignoring your removal request altogether, don't worry, you still have more options, which I will discuss next. If attempting to remove a review through Yelp doesn't work, the only ways to remove a review are to contact the person who left it directly or file litigation to seek its removal through a court order. If the person who left the review is an actual customer of your business, consider reaching out to them privately, such as by private message or email, to get an understanding concerning their complaint. You may be able to resolve their issue and gain an agreement to remove the review. If you're unable to identify the person who left the review or if communicating with them about it fails to resolve the issue, several remedies may be available. Working with an experienced legal professional can help lift the burden off your shoulders to properly and timely assess how to best remedy your negative review situation. You can pursue legal remedies against the author of the review by sending a cease and desist letter or filing a defamation lawsuit to obtain a court order to remove the content. If the identity of the reviewer is known, sending a demand letter can be an effective way to get them to remove the content. A demand letter puts the reviewer on legal notice that a lawsuit may be filed if they don't remove the unlawful content. 
This is often a productive and cost-efficient method. In situations where a cease and desist letter is not a viable solution, an experienced legal team can counsel you on the viability, risk, and benefits of filing a defamation lawsuit. An experienced defamation attorney can also pursue legal action against the publisher by filing a defamation lawsuit to obtain a court order to remove the content. If you know the identity of the Yelp user and they refuse to remove the review, a lawsuit will be your only other recourse. If the identity of the reviewer is unknown and you are unable to get the content deleted by reaching out to Yelp directly, you can retain legal counsel to file a John Doe lawsuit to unmask the anonymous poster. Unmasking is simply learning the person's true identity through the use of subpoenas to Yelp and other platforms that may have user data. Once the reviewer's identity is unmasked, the complaint can then be amended to include their name as a defendant. No business ever wants to receive a negative Yelp review, but it can still happen. If you find yourself in this situation, I hope this video reminded you that you have options. Call us for a free consult at 216-373-7706 or head over to minklaw.com and submit a contact form. This is Dorian and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.